Hi everyone, this is Kathleen from the American College Strategies and I'm here on the campus of Arizona State University, home of the Sun Devils. I am here in early March in Tempe, Arizona. And I want to give you a little information about Arizona State University. While the Tempe campus is the largest campus in the Phoenix area, there are four other campuses around this metropolitan area and Lake Havasu. The Tempe campus actually has over 42,000, repeat, 42,000 undergraduate students. And right now, I'm actually on campus during spring break. That's why you see nobody here. I was really surprised with 42,000 undergrads. Where is everyone? Surely not everyone's in class. But it's because it is spring break and there are very few students on campus. So the question many ask is, why would someone come to a, another state to come to a large public university what draws people here? Well, for my clients in the Northwest, what draws people here is the sun. Phoenix is a huge draw. They simply want to be where there is sun and warm weather all year round. My tour was a quite extensive tour and on a huge campus. For the first time in a long time, my feet actually hurt because this is a very, very large campus. Our tour guide showed us mostly buildings. I really wanted to get in and see what was going on in the classroom. So one of the hints I would tell you when you're going on a tour, try to make sure that your tour is when class is in session. You get a very different feel of the campus when class is in session and it's teeming with students. So what draws students here? are the majors. 23% of the undergrads are actually in business and marketing. And I found it really interesting that a huge eight to 9% are actually in the visual performing arts. So there's quite an extensive visual and performing art and design components of majors here at Arizona State University. When you look at the list of majors, uh, it really surprised me, things that you don't see at many universities. Interior design, you can major in that here. And that's not at a lot of other universities that I have been to. U.S. News and World Report has ranked Arizona State University as number one in innovation. That is very interesting. In fact, what I've found out that 83% of the university is run totally off the grid. Every building has solar panels on it. The parking lot has solar panels on it. And by the year 2020, the entire Arizona State University campus will be off-grid. Pretty innovative and really great information. Our tour guide, who our students are called the devil's advocate, which I thought was quite funny. So they broke us up according to majors we were interested in. Students for engineering went on one tour visual and performing art in another, sciences on another, and it took us all over the Tempe campus. I would suggest for students to really look carefully at some of the other campuses within Arizona State. There is a bus system that goes between campuses for free, so you could be registered at another campus in Phoenix and yet take classes here because there's a class you want here quite a big array of international students here. I just saw students coming by from China doing a tour, and there's a big component of international students here on campus. So for my international students, come look at Arizona State, uh, do some research online, look at some of the majors that are offering, really do well on your TOEFL, your IELTS test, and then come on out here to Arizona and take a tour or better yet, give us a call at American College Strategies because I really want to take the stress out of the entire search and application process. This is Kathleen on the campus of Arizona State University in Tempe, Arizona.